How long would you survive if you were thrust out into the wilderness in these northern climates and you had to try to survive? How long would you make it? Anyhow, as I've been going along today and seeing some of the winter birds at the feeders and whatnot, little chickadees and blue jays, I'm just amazed at how these little creatures that weigh only a few ounces in many cases can survive these cold temperatures and winds and snows and freezing rains and rains at night and that kind of thing. The animals have so many advantages over us for the most part. They have insulative coverings such as fur and feathers. They can survive on very little food. They know how to find food much better than we do and or the types of food they need are more readily available than the amounts and types of food we would need. They are quite hardy for the most part and their senses are so much keener than ours for the most part. Their hearing, their vision, their ability to escape and run fast. We are comparably very vulnerable to weather. Throughout the greatest percentage of our evolutionary history, we were a species that would have evolved in warmer climates, tropical climates, subtropical climates, temperate climates. And over the millennia, we did evolve and adapt to surviving in colder areas through our use of tools, animal skins to keep warm, the building of shelters, that kind of thing, making use of caves and whatnot to live in. And that did allow us to live in some pretty miserable climates. But since that period, as a species, we have become very weak. I wonder, how long would you survive if you were thrust out into the wilderness in these northern climates and you had to try to survive? You might be just lost on a camping trip or a hiking trip, or you might be involved God forbid, uh, in a plane crash, and maybe you're one of the lucky survivors, but now you've got to survive until you might get to the rescue phase. How long could you survive? Those of us who live in northern colder climates are really sort of living on borrowed time, I often think, because if things go wrong in society in a big way, for example, climate change, or loss of uh, fossil fuels to heat our homes, loss of other technologies to heat our homes to the degree that we need, then we're all gonna be thrust out into the cold, at least during the uh, winter season, fall and spring as well. And uh, it's not gonna be easy for many of us to survive. That's for sure. There's gonna be a lot of chaos and uh, people in turmoil. Now for those who may be lucky enough to live in tropical regions, at least you won't be facing the prospects of freezing to death through hypothermia and frozen limbs and appendages, starvation. Yes, there are quite a few skilled people out there who are good winter campers and I guess you could call them survivalists in a way, in that they know a lot of survival skills and whatnot. But if you actually had to survive on your own, just thrust into a situation, and you didn't have any tools or anything like that, how would you survive? It would be very, very difficult without freezing to death chances of survival would be very low even for a short period of time never mind having to get through a whole winter like the animals do we simply don't have the physical adaptations required to live in such a climate and in reality we shouldn't be living in such climates except our technologies have allowed us to do so at least temporarily for a few hundred years but as the resources deplete and run out, and as climate change takes more effect, I have to wonder what's going to happen to so many of us that live in these cold climates. 
even though the climates will be getting warmer as climate change advances. That's the perspective theory. But there's still going to be lots of cold times, cold periods, probably extremely cold periods. And we have to get through those or we're not going to continue. Anyhow, I don't bring this up to be all doom and gloom. I didn't even really want to get onto the climate change issue, but it was more a case of comparing ourselves to the little wild animals that live around here who can in most cases survive quite easily, even though they can find it difficult for sure too. They can find it very cold and uncomfortable. There's no doubt about that when you watch them and they can starve to death as well in tough winters. I'm not saying they all survive, but they have the ability to survive. Whereas we really don't. We're just uh, out here almost surviving in a bit of a dream world when you think about it. Our technological advancements have allowed us to survive in these areas. But that only works as long as the technology keeps working. Once that stops, we're on our own. And how long do you think you will survive?